So now we have understood about the post data. So this is a parent component. So this parent component is having all the post data. And this is a single post data which takes a single post and it needs to display all the post data. So right now we are not sending any post data. Here in the single post we are showing only the static data title 1 and description 1. So that is the reason we are able to see the same output title 1 description 1. But this is not the output we need to get. We need to get title 1 description 1 title 2 description 2 like this we need to get it. So how we can send it is. So in order to send the data from parent to child we will be using props concept so the props concept the using the props concept we will be sending the data from parent to the child from parent to child you need to understand so here i will for sending the data we will be using here colon and i want to send a single post right you can use whatever the name you want so here i am using the post is equal to the variable name which i am trying to send it is equal to post so this is the variable i am trying to send it i am sending the complete post here so post post so colon post colon colon why we will be using it is so instead if you use the colon it will take this one as a variable if you don't this if you don't use this one it will try it will directly send you the string data okay so remember this one so we need to use the colon or otherwise we have even bind so long 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 short uh, long form this one all. so this one is a short form now we are trying to send a post data okay now here in the single post we need to capture the data okay so which is sent through the parent so which is sent by the parent so this is the child component which when it is called from the parent component so this child component will receive some data so here we need to catch the data and here this parent component post.view is sending some post data so here how can i catch it is so let's try to give export default so here i can have data so let's keep try to keep it like this only data and we have a special property that is nothing but props okay so props it will take an array and in this array you need to mention the name so what is the name you need to mention this is the name so whatever the name with way name you are using so this name you need to use it post and here you can call it as a post here that's it so now we got the props data so that means we got the post data and here i can directly use post dot title okay and here i can use post dot description directly i can use it like this post dot description that's it so here we are trying to send post data to the child component and this one is consisting of title and the description and the same title and description i am using it here so now if you are having another one i can add it without any problem here automatically the for loop will uh, loop this one and it will try to send each post data to the single post now if you see the output how it will appear so let's try to refresh this page what happened to this one so it's run running or not my system is slow so let it run it again so let's run it again yeah so now it's working so let's see the output so what has happened here let's see go to the inspect element and console it syntax error somewhere we have missed the syntax error let's go to the post dot view yeah i need to use the comma okay so if you don't use some syntax error is there it will not run this one so now if you refresh this page again so now let's see the output see here we are able to get all the title one title two description here so if you want you can also do some design also let's say that this all should be in a container okay class is equal to container okay and here we can have uh, this all single post so for this all single post after completing of this one so you can use an hr here so we can use an hr okay done so we are able to get it like this see this is uh, this is how we can get the data so these are all representing this is one component this is one component and this is one component each component is sending we are sending the data post data and we are displaying this all data so this is the post data so we can remove this hello world at the top somewhere we are using it right app dot view I think I'm using it here. Yeah. So now I can remove it here. Now this is a post data. So here, so this is completely consists of one big post component. And here this is a normal single post, single post, and also this one is a single post. So here we are able to see it. So this is how we can do this one props thing. So here we can we have used this post of post and we have used it like this. Now if you go into this Vue.js here at the bottom you will be able to see the props okay 
so this is the props so here you will be able to see the props right so this is the props this is one way of declaring the props we are trying to send the foo here and here this is the post thing not only thing so we can send multiple props also for example let's say that i am using here another one is active okay is equal to one i am sending a string one so if you don't use the colon so that is nothing but it will try to search for a variable if you use the column it will try to search for a variable and if you use a, if you don't use the column it is a string data okay if you use colon here then it will be a integer one number one okay if you are using so if you are not using like this is a string one now this is also one prop data and you can use it here in the single post and in this props i can use it like this is active and if you want to show this one here i can use give and here i can use it is active okay so i can use it like this now if you try to see the output so where is that one yeah. so if you try to see the output so one we are able to see this one active one also so that is we are trying to send it from here so like this we can send as many props we want to the child component through the parent one so we are trying to communicate from the parent to the child using these props so how much data you want it you can pass it and here you need to use it in the props so that you can use it directly in the props data so this is how we will be using the props there are also different types of uh, uh, notations we, how we will be using these props we'll try to see it so there are also different ways we can use it so for example let's say that uh, if you go to the props this is one process right there are also different types of process so here you will be able to see it name casing these all the things are also different types are there let's try to see those things also so if you understand the, about these props then we can move it a little bit further